former police chief accused of propositioning women to take nude photos is facing a civil lawsuit. David Seastrand resigned as New London's police chief in April of last year amid an investigation into his conduct. Our Adam Sexton joins us now with the civil suit one of the alleged victims filed in court today. Adam. Well, Shelley, the plaintiff was a 19-year-old freshman at Colby Sawyer College when the alleged incident happened. The lawsuit says the chief picked her out of a crowd and arrested her personally and later tried to strike a stunningly inappropriate deal. Former New London Police Chief David Seastrand is now facing a civil lawsuit in connection with accusations of misconduct that surfaced last year. In March 2013, he allegedly told a Colby Sawyer freshman arrested for underage drinking he could make her case go away if she did something for him. He took her into a room where the uh, video monitoring equipment was either not functioning or had been disabled. Uh, in proposition to her and told her that the charges against her would be dropped if she agreed to allow him to photograph her naked. The lawsuit says the interaction between Seastrand and the plaintiff in the police station lasted for approximately three hours as Seastrand attempted to convince her to agree to his proposition. She eventually left and with her parents contacted the Attorney General's office. Chief Seastrand resigned during the state's investigation relinquishing his law enforcement certification. But after his departure, three more women came forward with similar stories, prompting another investigation that revealed what attorney Richard Lehman calls a pattern of outrageous behavior. He was willing to uh, misuse his authority, his, the prestige that comes with his office, the badge and the gun, um, to manipulate the legal process to benefit himself rather than benefit the citizens of his town. The young woman's civil lawsuit alleges that Seastrand and the town of New London violated her rights to due process and equal protection. She's seeking punitive damages. And a settlement could mean a high dollar figure here as the state's $275,000 cap on punitive damages does not apply to violations of constitutional rights. But Richard Lehman says for his client, this is not about money. He says she only came forward because she wants to make sure what happened to her does not happen to any other woman. Reporting live in the newsroom, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.